Microscope is important for scientists and students to study microorganisms like bacteria and cells, and its structures that are too small for our eyes to see. They use different types of microscopes like a compound light microscope and an electron microscope. Let's learn how to use microscopes, here on Science 101. Like biologists, we have to have a specimen to observe under a microscope. A specimen is anything that we want to study. It can be found anywhere, like allium sepa or onion and our hair. We have to prepare these materials first. Cover slips, slides, specimens like onion, hair and a cutout of letter E from a newspaper, tweezers and lastly as water. There are two preparation techniques that can be used. The first one is called dry mount which is the most basic technique. Simply position a thinly sliced section on the center of the slide and place a cover slip over the sample. This technique is ideal for observing hair, feathers and pollen and is used in preparing specimens of inorganic and dead matter. The second technique is called, wet mount. To prepare the slides, we need to place a drop of fluid in the center of the slide. Put the sample on the liquid using tweezers. At an angle, place one side of the cover slip against the slide making contact with the outer edge of the liquid drop. Lower the cover slowly, avoiding air bubbles then, Remove excess water with the paper towel. To observe our specimen in the microscope, adjust the body by rotating the coarse adjustment knob. Then, turn the revolving nosepiece so that the lowest power objective lens is clicked into position. Place the glass slide containing the specimen on the stage directly above the center hole and fasten it with stage clips. We are going to use the prepared slide of onion. Look through the eyepiece and adjust the mirror to find the field of view of the microscope. You can also adjust the diaphragm if it is too bright. Lower the body tube slowly, while looking at the eyepiece. Make sure it will not touch the prepared slide to avoid breaking the cover slips. To have a sharp focus, turn the fine adjustment knob until you can see it clearly. If you want to have a bigger image, change the objective lens by rotating the nose piece. If the image becomes blurry, you can adjust the focus using the fine adjustment knob. Now, let's do the same on our letter E slide. First, Rotate the coarse adjustment knob to adjust the body. Second, place the prepared slide on the stage. Make sure the specimen is centered on the hole, then fasten it with stage clips. Fourth, look through the eyepiece and adjust the mirror to find the field of view of the microscope. Slowly lower the body by using the coarse adjustment knob. Turn the fine adjustment knob until you can see it clearly. How do you compare the image on the microscope to the actual image of letter E? Here are other examples of specimens under the microscope. Hair strand and muscle cells. After you use the microscope do not touch the glass part of the lenses with your fingers. Use only special lens paper to clean the lenses. Always keep your microscope covered when not in use. Always carry a microscope with both hands. Grasp the arm with one hand and place the other hand under the base for support. A compound microscope uses lenses to magnify a specimen. It has an eyepiece and objective lenses. Every objective lens has its own magnification power. If we use these two together, it can produce a bigger image under the microscope. For example if we have an eyepiece with 10 times magnification and a low power objective with another magnification power of 10, we can produce an image that is 100 times bigger. Be updated with new topics weekly by subscribing to our YouTube channel.
Don't forget to like and leave us a comment about this video. See you next week.